Welcome back to Spirits Collective. It is the start of Halloween month here at Spirits Collective, probably our favorite time of the year where we kind of get to express ourselves the most and do, um, you know, do the whole, the fun little Halloween setups and all that. Unfortunately, we won't be able to release a regular video for you guys today. Just because, as you know, if you've watched the channel long enough, Alex does not live here. He does have to drive a few hours to get here. Um, so we will get back to it next week. <laughs> Last year we had Omega One on here and he made a really interesting cocktail for you guys called the Black Magic Margarita. I know a lot of you guys are out during the Halloween season, going to Halloween parties, getting lit, looking for cool, interesting drinks to have. And I know a lot of you probably don't have a full bar of mixers on hand. So my goal was to look for a, for a cocktail that's easy to make, that doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and that's gonna get the job done. So one of my favorite cocktails is the White Russian. We've talked about it on the show before. We've even made it on the show before. We're gonna go ahead and make some White Russians. This looks nice. This looks good, but nasty at the same Making. time. So I thought, is there a version of the White Russian that I could make for this uh, Halloween season? And of course there is. And I know for all you Starbucks drinkers, all you you pumpkin spice lovers, this one's gonna get you excited. So I found out that you can make, I mean, obviously, once you think about it, you can kind of do this with any kind of creamer, right? But you can make a pumpkin spiced White Russian. And I was like, God damn. Right now, the, the pumpkin spice latte is one of my favorite drinks personally from Starbucks. I don't get it often because they charge you an arm and a leg. So let's make a pumpkin spiced white Russian. So I'm gonna use three bottles for this. Like I said, my goal was to make something simple, fun, and delicious. And the three bottles that you'll need are a bottle of Kahlua, of course, a bottle of vodka, and I'm gonna be using Meili vodka. That's uh, Jason Momoa's vodka, probably one of my favorite vodkas right now. Finally, you're gonna need a pumpkin spice creamer, which you should be able to find at this point anywhere. Um, if you're watching this at another time, I'm sorry, use another creamer, make your own drink. Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pour, is you're gonna get yourself one of these nice uh, ice blocks, make the drink look nice and beautiful. You're gonna pour in two ounces of vodka and then you're gonna follow that up with an ounce of uh, Kahlua. And finally, you're gonna add one and a half ounces of pumpkin spice creamer. And you're gonna garnish that shit with a cinnamon stick. Make it look nice and neat. Unfortunately, my little tiny cinnamon stick wasn't, uh, doesn't really make a big difference. It kind of looks a little pathetic. And there it is. From over there to over here, like magic. I like. Uh, I really love White Russians. I'm really excited to see what this tastes like. Um, when I make a White Russian, I actually do one to one. So if it's like, so I usually put like 1.5 ounces of vodka and Kahlua, and then um, 1.5 ounces of creamer. That's just what I do. That's the way I like it. I think that it's pretty well balanced that way. I don't like it to be too vodka heavy. So let's see what it's like. Oh crap. That's really good. That's really good. I could drink the whole thing. That's delicious. That's delicious. And that's very, very, very dangerous. The thing with the White Russian is I can have like five of these or six of these and I'll be like lit, I'll be gone. But, the, but they're so sugary that they give me such a bad stomach ache and the next day I know I'm gonna have a really bad hangover. So I try to stay away from them generally but goddamn, they're good. This is this is just a pumpkin spice latte that's spiked. So yeah, I highly recommend this drink. It is delicious, especially if you're the type that likes pumpkin spice things. This is very pumpkin spice heavy. And like I said, man, easy. Three ingredients is all you need. Uh, if you wanna garnish it with a cinnamon stick, that's a fourth ingredient. You don't have to, obviously. If you wanna rim it with some graham crackers and I think caramel or honey, um, you can do that too, but I think at that point it's a little overkill. You're not trying to get a sugar rush. You're trying to get lit. You're trying to have fun. You're trying to show everybody that you can make a great drink without um, without having to spend a million dollars on different mixers. You can find the recipe, for the, the recipe for this online. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the description as well. Let me know what you think if you tried it. 
uh, comment your favorite Halloween uh, cocktail recipe. Maybe we'll try it on the show before the, the Halloween month is over. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, comment your favorite Halloween cocktail, your favorite Halloween bottle, your favorite Halloween drink, anything, anything special you like to do on Halloween when it comes to spirits and cocktails. Let us know what you're doing. Um, this, the whole point of the channel is to learn is to learn from you guys. Maybe you guys learn a little something from us. We've been doing this for a couple of years now. Hopefully we've been able to, to gain some knowledge in the time that we've been doing this. Cheers.